Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So, to, so today we've got a mission to pull off for, for our secondary lance. So we're going to go to the command center and take that contract right away. Let's just jump right into it. Um, itching to try out the new blackjack. If you haven't seen the layout, you'll see it very shortly. Um, we showed it off at the end, end of the last episode. So this is a destroy base, cease and desist, two skulls. And just going to blow, go in and blow up a lab. We're going to go two of ten, take a bit more cash just so we have it for the end of the month. And we'll flush out our main lance. These guys are going to be coming back next episode for a clan mission. And so we're going to be taking the Blackjack. Uh, but the Hunchback is going to be the main mech. Blackjack, Secondary, Phoenix Hawk, and then Firestarter. And we're going to go with Raider, Hogweed, and Riddler, and Warlock. And let's get this deployed and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. Move up, blow this base up. Well, we haven't played on this map in a while. We got reinforcements are coming from back here, so we're gonna move up into the right. So let's get Warlock going right away. We might as well. So 30 tonner, 55, 70, and 50. Looks like the base has got turrets, although there's usually one here. I don't see it though. Assault turret. Oh, great. So, probably not any reinforcements, but we'll find out shortly. Okay, Phoenix Hawk. Good to go. I copy. I'm interested to see that. Blackjack's got some good speed now. Don't really like blackjacks, but I'm really liking the loadout on that particular one. And we're going to see how this double PPC system is right. going to work out here. We got the range on these guys. We got good. We got good evasion with this group, so I'm I'm really liking that. We're going to reserve. Let's let their light boys move first. No, nope. they want us to get within turret range. Commander, we can do that. We can get within turret range. Full speed but you can't good. see us. Mm hmm. Okay. Assault turrets, huh? We're not moving at all. It's interesting. I guess there's no reason to. You got assault turrets. You might as well wait till we get there. But the thing is, is we got range, so we don't have to get that close. All right. So this 70 tonner. I thought that was 55. That's a 55. Okay. Um, it's reserve. They're not even moving. Roger that. Holding. Damn it. Pretty darn hidden up here, I think. So let's get in here. I got it. Don't think, don't shoot, just run. No, think, shoot, and run. That's our new motto, remember? Fire everything. Here goes. You know what would be cool? So whenever you fire this in the forest, it cleared the forest. Because these trees should all be on fire right now. What's this 70 tonner? That's, I wonder. Oh, actually, I'm actually really interested to see how Hogweed does, so. Let's move into here. I think we're probably safe from that turret. Yeah, pretty close. Uh, I'll leave the vehicle flamer off for now. Hmm. Yeah, it's only got eight turns of firing. Might as well use it. I'm 
ready. Cannot end out in the open. Go here though. Heading out. Full speed. Confirmed. All right. We'll take that because we have no other choice. Kirby's hurting. Waiting for orders. Let's give us a better chance to hit. Move order received. Just gonna walk it up and pummel this guy. Yeah, we didn't want the leg, but we got it. Wolverine one R, okay. I think he's got rocket launchers, doesn't he? And a heavy Don't rifle? Medium rifle. Rocks. Yep. Yeah, no biggie. So we're gonna smoke the Wolverine and the Irby before we even entertain moving in. What's up, buddy? What's up? Take this. Mm -hmm. Bar B Q. Who are you shooting at? I mean, I know who you're shooting at, but it doesn't look who you're sh like who you're shooting at. Orders. Got some good speed on this guy now. Um, uh, let's get out of the sight of those turrets. Fire on this guy. Nice. Yeah, Blackjack's fired twice now and pretty good heat management, so. I mean, it's not a hot planet, so it's... Better be good heat management. Let's see what we can do to this guy. Don't care about the rocket launchers. Far away, buddy. Oh, ho. and I was going to shoot for the uh, urban mech this turn. Commander? Moving out. What do we got? Uh, how much has he got CT? Uh, a lot. Right towards, so he's still got a lot, right? This is where the autocannon is, or the rifle? No, he's got two mediums in this one. Medium rifle on that side. So let's go let's go for this torso. Copy that, Commander. Okay. That hit something good. Yeah, keep coming forward, buddy. Good thing they're not arrow four turrets, that'd be crazy. I'm waiting for area effect weapons in this game. That'd be pretty awesome. Do we see what that 70 tonner is yet? No, I don't think so. Probably a bad idea. I'm sure he'll present himself this turn. Let's go after this guy. Bullet. You missed. Standing 
Okay, Raider. Um, Order acknowledged. I know we don't have to do this, but we're gonna. This should be good. Just want to push them back. I don't want them to move. Don't want them to power up. Okay, two larges for a 50 ton mech. Interesting. I'm sure I know what it is, but uh, I can't think of it at the moment. In case you wonder why I'm so quiet, so brain dead at the moment, I've got, uh, normally I sleep with a CPAP every night, and my CPAP has malfunctioned. So it's been a few nights now that I haven't had it on, and uh, I've been getting more and more tired every day. So let's go for the CT. It, I'm just extremely tired right now. Hopefully I'll have that fixed in two days from now. So when by the time you see this episode, it'll be... It'll already been fixed for a couple of days, I think. This episode is going out on Thursday? I'm recording it Tuesday. Yeah, it's going on Thursday, so that's the day I'm getting it fixed. So by the weekend, I should be... The episode should be back into uh, to uh, their right, st <laughs> right frame of mind, so to speak. All right, let's dump everything in the back of this guy. Yeah. Okay, we don't have to worry about the AC now. Oh, he bailed out too. Good. Yeah, you know what? Any smart urban mech pilot... I've got lawyers! Any smart urban mech pilot knows to bail his ass out of his mech once they lose that, that auto cannon. There's just no point. You can't move very fast. And with like a small laser or a machine gun, like, oh, it's a crab. I forgot about the crab. See, I knew it was something I knew, but I just forgotten completely about. That, I'm putting myself in a direct line of fire that turret I know, but we can't not take the side shot on this guy. Oh, only one hit too. Commander. All in ass. Everything on the side of this guy. Okay, we're gonna rotate to this side. Uh, I want to try and pull that 70 tonner out a little bit. Oh, warhammer! I'm thinking that's maybe a warhammer. Kind of looked like it when we went ran by. Wow, this thing is slow now. Yeah, you know what? Ever since we lost the mask and the Phoenix Hawk, it's been ridiculously slow. Let's just go down here. We'll cool off. That wasn't Pylon's fault, that was my fault. I don't know if you remember that that many episodes back, but we were trying to get away on a hot planet and we took the uh, chance to run across in an open area and he got hit. And the mech got cored, unfortunately, and went down. Pylon survived, obviously, but um, that was my fault for losing the mech. We pushed it and we probably shouldn't have. But it's a testament to his piloting that he's still alive, that guy. That guy's just like... Just a really good pilot. Now that I've said that, of course, he'll die in a mission horribly. I apologize. Oh, it's a Warhammer. Okay, so I think we've got six Warhammer parts. We've got to maximize salvage on this guy. He's already weakened. Why is he... You know what? I thought this guy was lobbing missiles at us. But it wasn't. It was a turret. Okay. One thing that we know that Warhammers don't like is flames. So we're going to give him some flames. Ooh. Commander? This crab is uh, bothering your teammate, Riddler. Do you mind uh, handling that for us? Double time. Very important teammate. Welcome to my alpha. It's the teammate that's going to help us get a Warhammer. Enemy 
enemies locked in. Nice. We can keep that guy shut down. Commander? Question is You can't see the turret. It's hoping to kill this turret. But we can kill the crab instead. What if we just move? Let's just move, give us a better chance to hit, use less heat. And we're only gonna fire one. Because I don't think we can kill him with both. Just gonna shoot one, get some heat back. Ah, oh, alright. That was a throwaway move, I guess. Yeah, stay over here. Thank you. Yeah, use those weapons. That was a massively tactical error, by the way. You should have moved back here and shot across this way. Stayed behind the hill. Forced us to come around and get him. That way it puts us in um, harm's way for their turrets. We're kind of a little bit in harm's way, but not much. But... If these guys had both stayed back here, it would have forced us to come and get them. So, anyway, that being said, yeah. we need to burn this guy up. Mm hmm. Something like that. Let's leave the medium lasers off. That should do it, I think. Yep. Okay, leg hits everybody. While we're handling this crab at the same time. Is he an ace pilot? Yep. Ah, uh, you tried. You did try. Uh, that might have... No, I think we're hidden from that turret. Shoot straight in this guy's backside. Okay, Raider. We gotta move. Don't have to move very far, though. Leg hits, guys, please. Two nice leg hits. Excellent. Waiting for orders. Confirmed. Should have probably stayed on his side, but that's fine. Uh, we got to just do leg hits. 42%. Leave the vehicle flamer off for now. Fire the rest. Engaging with target. Wow. Yeah, well, if you hit the legs, we can make it happen. We're not going to make anything happen if you're shooting his upper body. You know, in, in, that, in her defense, we should have been shooting from the side. Oh, he was in range of the turret. Sorry, Riddler. I'm such a jokester. Bah ha ha. Mm-hmm. Let's just get into here again. Bar B Q. Oh, we got the leg too. That was a critical hit, that was. Could go for health, but I think the legging is probably a better idea. Oh, here comes Mealy Crab. Reporting. Minimal damage. Waiting for orders. Yeah, 29 is pretty minimal. You're good at legging. Let's leg this guy. <sighs> Do you actually hit the leg? Of course not. Why would <laughs> why would you hit the leg? Oh my god. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. T 
Just go. Just shoot the leg, please. Leg, leg. Sweep the leg. Okay, that was two hits it looked like. Let's check that out. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, I don't care about the crits. I just want the leg gone. 65 left. 93 in the CT. Waiting for orders. Okay, Raid, it's all or nothing, man. All or nothing. Oh, Gotta shoot everything. Let's do it. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, can we make him bail out? That's the question. Down to 24. 70. Okay, he's got good chunky center torso still. He shut down. <laughs> oh, yes, they did. You need to take a little bit of damage to show like we did some work down here. We're going to go back to the ship with no damage. The captain's going to think that uh, we didn't do any fighting. All right, let's barbecue this crab. I don't believe you're gonna like this. No, he won't. Oh, now I'm just tearing you up. So we got another clan uh, flamer. I'm thinking about throwing in that crab, or the uh, fire starter. I mean. Okay, twenty-four and a leg hit. Let's just get close. I know you can do it, girl. Just one of these should do it. Nice. Okay, people, we got a Warhammer. Enemy down. And I can take two Warhammer parts because I know we have six. Yeah, let's not move too far. We don't really need to. Stay out of the uh, sight of those turrets. Dump everything into his side. Nicely done. Didn't even need these. He should go down. There we go. Taking a lot of punishment, this guy. Yeah, they still got sensor lock. I forgot about that. That's fine. We're going to ruin these turrets in a minute here, so... Finish this guy up. Or not. Oh, there we go. That one's done for. Okay, we need to move in and cool off a little bit here. Position confirmed. I'm your spaniel. Taking that protective stance. Okay, here we go. I'm listening. Let's get eyes on this first turret. Two hundred and six armor, not bad. Far less than I thought. Receiving you. We get eyes on the second turret, second and third. Just want the second one. Here we go. Light standard, it's got what, 150 armor? Should be able to deal with that with this guy. There it is. One left okay, Riddler. Yes, See if we can dust this turret. Just running. Nope, shooting and running, guys. Shooting and running. Okay, that should die. Okay, two turrets left. Target destroyed. Yes, Commander. 
start on the base. Yeah, why not? Doesn't matter. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. We'll attempt to, Darius. We'll attempt to. So we just got line of sight. Uh, he wasn't expecting that, but that's fine. Damage minimal. Okay, so let's get uh, Warlock in to get line of sight on this turret. Oh, not there. Yep. Confirmed. Alright, what do we got here? Hardened Shredder Turret. Yeah, maybe I should fire on this guy. I was going to take a building down, but we'll burn this turret up instead. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Camouflaged LRM Turret. Whoa, nice damage. Yeah, definitely liking the layout now in the new one. Can we get them both? We can. Okay, this guy's got how much left? So we need to do... Those two on A. And those two on B. We should be able to finish it up here. Yep. Nice. Let's kill these buildings and go home. One less turret. I'm receiving you. Took a lot longer than I thought it would. I was hoping to be a little quicker about it, but no biggie. Let's see if we can take this building down now. Okay, one down. Structure down. It's Thanks, Darius. I had no idea. Commander. Let's see what your flamers can do against this building, girl. There we go. There it is, folks. Let's head home. Alright, so I gotta say that's a completely successful mission there. We took barely any damage. Uh, good payout. And no real damage at all. A little bit in the back of the blackjack. That was kind of my fault, but everything else was okay. And let's have a look down here. Where is it? Yep. There we go, folks. We've got a third part that's uh, not the exact same model, but we will be able to get a Warhammer out of this. Nice. Nothing else down here, anyway. Okay, so one, two, three, four. We've got another Urban Mech, too, guys. So we're really close to having our, 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 our Lance of uh, Cattle Masters and Urban Mechs. So that'll be that's good. Uh, we got a Light Fusion Core, and that's about it. There it is, folks. 6R. That mech you wanted, and an urban mech. 10,000 in repairs, which is nothing. We made some really good coin on this. Still really close to... The, like, we'll, we should be able to pull off at least two more missions before the end of the month. So the, having the second Lance in play is really making everything profitable. As long as we pull off easy missions like that. Well, I don't want to say easy, but as long as we pull off missions that are... Uh, our, we're at our capability, we'll easily be able to make our financial report and get a lot of good stuff. So let's have a look at the mech bay real quick here. Let's have a look at our um, the new coveted um, urban mech. Let's see, ref <laughs> let's refit this guy. Sorry, I'm still giggling about the two uh, <laughs> the double lance of two cattle masters and two urban mechs with really big fusion cores and machine guns and flamers. So let's do that. Let's strip all the gear off this guy. Let's just confirm this and get this working. And I am going to do that, by the way. I am totally going to do that. All right, Warhammer. Let's see what we get out of this guy. Oh, the 280 Fusion Core, it looks like. So let's repair. Yeah, 280 Fusion Core. Uh, both lower arms are still there. So I'm thinking... With this guy, if we think about our layout right now for the Bushwhacker, we have two ER 
uh, largest, one in each arm, which we can do, and then the Gauss rifle in the torso, which we can do. So we can upgrade our bushwhacker to a warhammer, maybe have a few other things on this guy as well. Um, and it's definitely going to increase the survivability. So definitely two ER larges, and maybe we keep the Gauss rifle, maybe we try something different, I don't know. Uh, we do have a, a, a ballistic point on each shoulder, but we do have one missile point as well. So maybe um, this could be a good platform for the delivery of the aero system. Because um, we got to get that into play at some point too, right? So yeah, there's a thought there. So we're going to strip the gear off this guy as well. So we can start fresh. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. We'll change things because we're going to want to keep the lower arms and stuff on this guy. Actually, let's just pull the heat sinks out of it and the medium laser. We'll leave the fusion core in the lower arm for now. Alright, so that's going to take a little while to repair. But we're fine with that. Let's manage our tasks and make sure that uh, it's happening. So let's move the Warhammer up here. These guys will still be back in two days, and then the Urban Mech will be into repair. That way this gets a couple of days of work on it before uh, before anything else comes in. We can get that back into the lineup faster that way. All right. So we're going to end the episode here because next time when we come back, we want to pick up right where we left off and get in with our next, our main lance, get down and pull off a clan mission. Uh, it's going to be a little harder. I think it's a two and a half skull one. So we're going to have to see how that goes. It's, it's a destroy base. So it'll be interesting to see what, what that's going to be. Um, yeah, I'd like to be able to do it with the Warhammer, but I'm thinking that we should try it without it first. Um, just to see what happens. If things go wrong, we can always pull out. But uh, we got that Warhammer now to replace the Bushwhacker. So that should be good. All right, guys. So we're going to end the episode here. If you like it, drop a like. Uh, add some comments in the section below. Um, if you want to see something different with the Warhammer layout. Um, like I said, I'm always recording a couple of days ahead. So if I don't get to it on that day, um, don't expect it in the next few episodes. But I will be looking at it after that. So, yeah, I'm always recording a couple of days ahead. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. And until next time, we'll see you later.